You ready, Sash? I'm ready. Okay. I'm ready too. Teach me grappling. Just got done with a killer workout. Brian Peterson here. I got Sachi and Bach. Uh, let me catch my breath. Okay, guys, this week, showing you guys all these uh, Ezekiel variations. So I really want to get back to the crucifix, but I'm going to show you guys another choke. Again, these guys, are, these are all different chokes you can use. They're great nogi chokes. Um, I've got more than more than all these. There's more coming. But uh, what I want to catch up on is is working on this other type of choke. Again, they, they look kind of like Ezekiel's. They look like guillotines at the same time. Um, I want you guys to try this. Okay, look. I'm gonna start out with a collar tie. Okay, the collar tie. And then what I'm gonna do is, when I pull the guy's head down, okay, when you guys go for a guillotine, you're gonna see this style, where you pull him, his head goes here, and then you wrap here for the guillotine. And then you can guillotine choke. Or you'll have cross feeding, where you take the head, you'll pull it down, but you'll bring it across to go to the other side, okay? See how I can go to the other side, and then I can let go with the hand that pulled his head, and I can guillotine choke. This is all standard stuff. This is the stuff, I mean, there's definitely details you can learn from that, but, but this is the stuff that everyone does. So I'm gonna show you something again, a little bit funky, but it might fit some of the individuals out there. It might help you. So watch this choke. I keep the head, I'm gonna cross feed it. When I cross feed, uh, obviously I've gotta get some energy. When I pull his head down and I go here, I'm gonna put my hand around his neck. Then what I'm gonna do is, I'm not gonna let go with my right hand. My right hand, we're doing nogi. My right hand on the collar tie is like a collar grip. It's like grabbing his gi and feeding your four fingers inside on the gi to do a choke. Like for example, a loop choke. If his head is down, you can go here and create a choke, okay? With this hand, you feed it under loop choke in the gi. This is kind of like that, but for nogi, except I don't feed my hand. So I'm here, I cross feed, bring my arm over, and look, this is the collar. This is the collar. So I just grab four fingers, actually five fingers, all the way inside on the collar. See the grip? Right there. Now, I make the grip as high as possible, and I make sure his head gets stuck back in my armpit so it's tight. Now, once I do this, this is what I mentioned yesterday. With this one, I pull my elbow. I pull my elbow, and I also pull the other elbow. So what I'm doing is, I'm taking my elbows and I'm flaring them out. Okay, again, kind of like a loop choke, but my, my uh, armpit is helping me a lot. Keeping his head stuck, also the collar tie, keeping his head stuck, flare your elbows. Okay, so I'm here, I, I, I get a snap, I go over and I feed and I grab high on my wrist. Once I do that, I bring my right elbow up and because my hand is connected to my wrist, that helps drive the bone into his neck. So by doing this, that helps choke him, but at the same time, this elbow's also doing it. So they're both being pulled, like so. And it gets you a quick choke. Now, you're not gonna do the standing. It's too much effort, most of the time it's gonna fail. If you hit it standing, I'm happy for you. I've hit it standing before, but I'll show you where I really get it the most, okay? When we're on the mat. We go to the mat, he's gonna go to his guard, see the guard, okay? We hit, we're here. Now, when we're playing here, I grab onto the collar. That's already, you can already see it coming. The collar tie is here. I'm playing with my head to his head. I wanna make sure that I'm not here. If my head is up like this, he, he has senses in his mind that tell him that I'm gonna try to pull his head in. See? So I put my head here, okay? When I put my head, I wanna make him think I'm trying to pass the guard. So when I'm here, I get on my toes and I start to apply force to push him onto his back. Now when I get some force, you see him scooting away? Now I go right there. Okay, so if you notice, I'm on my toes. So it's easy for me to make the jump. If you're sitting here on your knees, like this, maybe in butterfly, for example, and you were to go like this, he would have to be like really asleep. You pull the head down and you do this. If you can do that, that's great. But he's probably gonna defend. Notice the subtle difference now. Instead of trying to do this, I put my head at his level, okay? I use my head to push and I start to pass. Then I go over. 
As I go over from over here, John, so you can see my hands. On this side. See my hand? My hand's about to make the grip. My elbow's keeping tight right here, my right elbow. I make the grip. And then now once I'm here, I'm ready for the choke. As he tries to move or do whatever, I'm gonna start applying the force. I'm gonna finish right there. If he were to come and take me down and come on top, I'll fin I'm sorry, I'm sorry about that. I'll finish in the guard, okay, like that. If he jumps to side control, I'll finish. So again, I'm putting some, I have the collar tie. I'm, I'm getting on my toes and I'm trying to like pass the guard. Then I go over and I drop. If he comes on top, right here, it's all good. Look at the grips. I don't know if you can zoom in there and you can see that. I have the grip, and now he tries to defend. He can hug my neck like Von Flew. I squeeze, and I get the choke. It's a very tight choke. Okay, there are all kind of variations. I do a lot of these. I have uh, videos in, in the past that I've shot not that long ago with the north-south choke and stuff countering. They're all real similar. So once I started on one, I started to just go, how can I get this from other positions? So they're all pretty related. So last time, you could do it standing, but it's much harder. He's probably gonna defend. So instead, let's say we get a takedown, boom, I hit a double leg, drop it to the mat, and now we're playing in this position, okay? I'm playing jujitsu here, no, no, go back, play guard, play guard, yeah. See, like, I don't want him getting up. If he gets up, it's not gonna work. It'll be much like when you were on your feet. It'll be the same thing, he'll defend. I need him to play guard. So he might try to attack me. Maybe he's gonna attack this arm. Take it off, go ahead. I just need you in the mode. I need you like, yes, I need this kind of fight. So now when I'm here, I go to the collar and I start to pass. And then I go over. Okay, as I get the grip, you guys see the grip? Now I showed you the grip. If I lay like this and I'm trying to squeeze but I can't finish because he's holding, go ahead, hold, defend. See, he's trying to defend the choke. I hit my back bridge and I come on top. Now look, I'm based on my head and then I just apply my stomach. My stomach comes down and I apply the force. Okay, just like so. You guys can be in half guard. Half guard will work too. So I'll get in a half guard and I'm putting this guy down and you see how he's getting the underhook? See, I'm keeping this wrist so he can't get up. I slip this hand into the collar tie. So I'm right here. When he tries to go here, instead of wizarding, slip your elbow into the collar tie. Use your elbow to keep him back. So he can't go towards my back. See how I'm holding the wrist right here? Now once I'm here, I'm like just pushing the guy down, trying to get my position. I'm waiting for the right moment, okay? As I'm here, maybe I'll try to pass, and then boom, I'll come over, and I'll lock the grip. Sometimes I'll mount. You guys are here, and you can mount, mount. Drop your hip, finish the choke. It's just like a guillotine, except with this, I'm not gonna change my grip and go here. So I'm gonna save a little bit of time. Leave your hand on the collar, get the guillotine, but then just grab onto this collar. So it's like an artificial collar. It's like having the gi. You're just putting this here and then going here first. That's it, that's all it is, guys. And your radio bone is choking him. Take both of your elbows and do this. See that kind of scissoring motion? And that's gonna help drive this bone up. And then having this head in your armpit is gonna really help because the roof of your armpit his head can't go up anymore, and then the bone's gonna go up into his neck. Okay, so, killer little choke, very different than probably what you've seen. Um, I'm sure there's, there's gotta be other jiu-jitsu guys out there that are doing it as well, so props to them. Again, it's not anything anybody ever showed me, but it just started to happen. But again, it's through your jiu-jitsu training, guys, everybody will branch off and discover new little avenues. And if this choke, I'm sure it's not new, it's probably been done 100 years ago, but either way. It was something that I was able to stumble upon in my jiu-jitsu journey. So, hope you guys liked it. Um, Sash, what do you think, man? You wanna do this good. choke? Yeah, Kay. I love it. All right. Probably gonna pull it off in a tournament. Ooh, all right. So, we're gonna be working on that. I want you guys to work on, please click on that link in Patreon. Uh, yesterday we had uh, Jonathan, thank you so much for that huge donation. Um, we had a uh, contribution to the channel that was much larger than what I'm asking. Thank you so much. I'm gonna be sending you out a rash guard. Thank you. And uh, to all you guys, other guys, please contribute to this channel. I'm gonna keep bringing you this awesome stuff every single day. Again, I'm committed to you guys. This has now become a big part of my life. I'm answering messages, I got emails coming in. People are flying in from out of state to come train. So it's really cool, I'm really happy. Um, but at the same time, I'm so busy. So if I can't get to all of your messages, I'm sorry. 
Um, I, I try to answer as many as I can, and I do try to read every single message. Please click the link down on pa Patreon, donate to this channel, contribute. I'm gonna be getting a new camera real soon. Uh, it's just all about how badass I wanna go with the camera, and I wanna make sure that the audio is good for you guys so you, get, you can hear, and uh, that's about it. Nine bucks or less on the on t-shirt the raffle, 10 bucks or more on the rash guard raffle for this month. So please, anybody who donates, you are entered into the raffle. I will do the raffle for you in front of the video camera at the end, uh, probably early October. Thank you guys so much. Teach me grappling. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Thank you.